Jason? Ah, uh, greetings. Valkyrie, thank you so much for coming over. Much wisdom is needed. Oh, it's an emotional time, isn't it? Well, yes, and, you know, the, the Jacko just wants to do the right thing, as does the blonde one, and... That's so mature of you, Spinelli. Well, thank you. Y I mean, you know, Lulu talked to you because, you know, she values the Valkyrie's opinions. Okay, what is it with this whole Valkyrie thing? Well, it's the highest of compliments. I see, I'm not sure if I like being compared to a woman wearing a breastplate and a winged helmet. But it would be so hot. And I, I, I say that with the, the utmost respect. You are, you are fearless. You are powerful. I mean, only... I mean, only you can anger Stone Cold and walk away unscathed. I mean, you are the epitome of an immortal uh, warrior baby. Okay, let's get back to Lulu. Okay. okay, I had a really long talk with her, and she knows exactly what she's supposed to do. Okay, but it's, I mean, it's not Lulu you're, you have to talk to. It's Stone Cold. Why would I tell Jason who Lulu's bringing as a date to my wedding? Yes, yes, you, Jackal, sees your point. Unless there's something else I'm supposed to tell Jason. Shax! This ballroom is splendid! What an ideal spot for the ceremony. Well, having the reception here as well. Oh, well, you have a lot to plan in a very short while. You and Carly have your work cut out for you. Well, we were supposed to be married last November. We gave our wedding away to Luke and Laura. And then I had to postpone New Year's Eve because uh, I had to go chasing after Jerry again. So this time, Carly and I come first. We're going to get married on Friday and nothing is going to stand in that way. Jason's my best friend, so if something's going on with him, I really need to know. Stone Cold is just um, processing some parent-child data. I know. Y you do? Yes, he was blindsided by Alan's death. They hadn't spoken in ten years. He's wrapped with guilt, which is driving me crazy because Alan's the one who drove him away. Just let me get started, you know? It's a whole parent-child relationship uh, thing. Uh, uh, what about parents and, and children? Uh, we were just, you know, dialoguing about um, Stone Cold and his dearly departed dad. Spinelli's worried that Jason's taking his father's death so hard. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've noticed that too. Yeah. Don't push him, okay? You guys don't push him. Jason needs to deal with his pain alone. And the one thing I've learned from this long relationship with Jason, the more you push, the more he pulls away. That's that's good to know. Yeah, most surely. I mean, I, I knew the, the Valkyrie, um, Carly, <laughs> would have some good advice. Um, so do you, do you have any um, other suggestions on, on what we can do for Jason? Distract him. That's what I'm going to do. He's going to be the best person at my wedding, so I brought over the tux. All he has to do is show up, so will you please tell him to call me as soon as he tries it on? Uh, yes, I will relay the message when he returns from his trip. What trip? Stone Cold took to the open road on his motorcycle. When's he coming back? Uh, he didn't say. I have to find him. I can't get married without Jason. I am so happy for you, Jax. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. I know that my matrimonial track record hasn't exactly been that great. You know? <laughs> I have no doubts whatsoever. I know you and Carly will have a wonderful life together. I only wish your father could be here to join in the celebration. He'll be here in spirit. I know that he would have adored Carly. And he'd be really happy that I, that I found someone to spend the rest of my life with, you know? Your father's absence is all the more reason Jerry should join us. You know, I could wring his neck, but he couldn't find the time to come. Yeah, well, Jerry's Jerry, you know. No one's ever going to change him. True. But I know how much you were counting on your brother. I'm sure Jerry's wishing me well, you know, wherever he is.